Yeah, right. Right. All right, well, welcome to Strength and Stability. My name is Allie, and we ask to consult your physician or physical therapist prior to beginning any type of new exercise, and to please only do the exercises that you're comfortable with. Um, we have, like last time, three exercises that we're gonna do for 40 seconds each, and then we'll do three rounds of that. Um, we'll take a water break after each exercise, or each round, sorry, and then we'll do some balance stuff. Um, I have three balance exercises, and then we'll stretch for the last like five or so minutes. So to start, you can grab your dumbbells, and we're gonna do the dumbbell offset raises. So just putting those off to the side and keeping your core really tight. So your torso shouldn't rotate. Your torso is just gonna stay straight and your arms are doing the moving. I forgot to start my watch. Good job. 10 more seconds. Good. And then we're gonna do bicep curls. So you're gonna have your palms facing outward and just tuck those elbows into your sides and bring your hands to your shoulders. There you go, yep, good. You also wanna try and keep your wrist neutral. So try not to curl your wrist at all. Just keep it straight. Good. Good, and then you can put those weights down. And we're gonna do a slow march. Um, if you need to grab onto the table, that's fine. But you're gonna try and hold it up for three seconds and drop. Good job, you guys. Looking good. Ten more seconds. And stop. Good job, you can take a rest. Yep. Do you know what's funny? I forget which one of you, I think you laughed at me last time because I kept slapping my watch. Avery, I was sitting at the front desk, I think it was on Saturday, and I went like this really hard, and I had told her that you guys brought that up to me, and she, and she started laughing because I was just sitting there all day like this. <laughs> Just smack in my wrist. It made me think of you guys. Yes. Yeah. I just, I don't know why. I, it's just fun. Yeah. I got in a habit, is right. Yeah. Exactly. All right. If once you guys are ready, you can pick those dumbbells back up. And we're going to go back to the offset raises. So again, keep your torso straight and just your arms are moving. Really squeeze your core. Good. Good job. Nice. Keep your torso forward and just move your arms. Good job. Ten more seconds. I'll go this way for the, the video too. <laughs> and stop. Again with the bicep curls, palms facing out, uh, elbows tucked to your side and just bring them up to your shoulders. Good. Try to have a nice slow and controlled movement. And remember to keep your wrists in a neutral position. Don't, don't curl them. Good. 
Good job. Keep your elbows tucked to your sides. I like to think I'm squeezing a lemon under my armpits. I told you guys that last time. I don't know if that's helpful, but. About 15 more seconds. And stop. You can put those to the side. And we're going to march. So I really want you to focus on holding at the top. So put all your weight into that other leg and then hold it. Good job. It's helpful if you get a focal point and really squeeze your core. About 10 more seconds. And stop. Good job, take a rest. How you feeling so far? Oh, good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Did you guys do anything fun this weekend? No? Just hung around? See, Friday, Saturday was such a tease with no rain. And then Sat Sunday, the one day I needed it to not rain, it poured. Yep. Yeah, exactly. You got a knot in your back? Yeah. Those are the worst. I know. I get them in my traps a lot because I, I tend to, I hold my stress. Yeah. How you feeling? You ready to go again? All right, pick up your dumbbells. And then this is our last round. So back with the, the offset raises. Good. Remember to keep your torso wait, ugh, facing forward. <laughs> Word salad. Good job. Nice. About 15 more seconds. And stop. Now with the bicep curls, elbows tucked to your ribs. Just bring your arms up. Yep, good, I love it. Squeeze the lemons. <laughs> Does that help you? It helps me a lot. Yeah, it's like a good reminder to keep keep your elbows tucked. That's funny. <laughs> good job. And remember, try not to curl your wrists. Try to keep them neutral. And stop. Now we're going to do the marches for the last time and then take a break. Good job.
Nice. Try to really squeeze your belly. Sometimes it helps to find a focal point too. Just stare at it. <laughs> and stop. All right, take a rest. And then when you're ready, we'll do the tandem two step. We did this last time, but um, so you're gonna draw that line and then you wanna cross your foot over the imaginary line. Yep, perfect. Good. Good job. We're like ballerinas today. <laughs> Was anyone a dancer? Nice. Gotcha. I danced when I was little, but then I was playing soccer at the same time. So they made me pick between soccer and dance and I chose soccer. But looking back, I wish I chose dance and we can switch legs. Remember, draw that line and then cross. Yeah, I, I wish I chose dance. Here's what it is. I still loved soccer, but now that I'm older, I watched dancing and I'm like, oh, it's just so beautiful. It's so pretty to watch. True. I just don't think I have the coordination now. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know that's true. Yeah, I used to love my three favorites were tap, jazz and ballet. I loved those. Ballet was my favorite. Good, one more. And stop. Now we're gonna do uh, our single leg balance stance. So I'll go over those again. There's the first stance, um, or sorry, the first stance, second stance, third stance, fourth stance. So choose whatever stance is best for you. And then um, we're going to, or sorry, yeah. Yeah, choose whatever stance is good for you. And then we're gonna do head turns in whichever stance you choose. Oops, there we go. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and then you're gonna switch legs in that same balance stance, and we're gonna go up and down. Easier, you think? Okay, yeah. And stop. And then we're gonna do some heel toe raises so you can hold onto the wall or the table if you need to. Um, but those are just up on your toes and then up on your heels. Toes, heels. Ten more seconds. And stop. I really like those ones because Pat actually brought up something to me the other day um, with like catching yourself when you fall. So we don't actually realize it, but when we walk, we pull this toe up so that we can walk heel to toe. 
so the muscle like when we do the toe raises it actually strengthens that muscle so that when we walk we don't drag it and fall yeah so i really like these ones um yeah that's true yeah that's crazy but i really like them he's right like you, you don't actually think about it but you do bring your foot up when you are walking so they're good yeah yeah oh gosh oh like this yeah oh wow um we're gonna draw a d now just so single leg and then draw a D, capital D, capital D for do snap, my last name. <laughs> my last name, do snap. Yeah, it works. <laughs> And then we're gonna switch in three, two, one. It's a backwards Z for me. <laughs> About 10 more seconds. Whoa, whoa. Three, two, and one. Good job. And then we're just gonna do the heel toe raises one more time. Just because I love them so much. <laughs> woo, I love the enthusiasm. <laughs> right yeah i mean even me I, like i feel it oh yeah you never come yeah right so it's also so good for your balance coming back on your heels like that transferring your weight three two one good job now we're just gonna do some stretches. So we'll do our hip flexor stretch first. So remember, straight leg, bent knee, and then pelvic tilt. Does everyone know how to do a pelvic tilt? Okay, if not, um, just think about like sucking your belly button in. So instead of being here, you're gonna suck your belly button in and then lean forward and you should feel that stretch right here in your hip flexor. We'll hold this for 15 seconds. And switch, gently come out of that stretch. And then gently go into the other stretch, or the other side, sorry. I have very tight hip flexors, so this one hurts a little bit. And good. And then we're gonna do a hamstring stretch. So heel up, and then you can just bend down to wherever you feel the stretch and hold that position. <laughs> Avery's joining us, <laughs> or not. And stretch, I mean switch. <laughs> Same thing.
Good. And then we'll stretch our calves. So up against a wall. And just put your toes up against the wall or, or yeah, you can stretch that one too. If you want to do it that way, you can, um, yeah, it's kind of like the hip flexor one. Yeah. About 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. And then we're just going to do an arm stretch. So take your arm across your body and pull it with your other opposite arm, pull it in your elbow or just above your elbow. Okay. Yep. So just kind of relax this arm, put it across your chest and then pull it in with the opposite arm. Should feel it kind of back in here. How's this feel for you guys? Good? Okay. And then you can switch. And stop. How are you guys feeling? Good? Good, I'm glad. We're just gonna end with some arm circles and then you're free to go. So just shake out your arms a little bit. You don't have to push yourself too far, just kind of shake out the arms. And then you can go in the opposite direction. can do small ones and then we can go the other way small ones and then just shake out your legs a little bit and you're good to go you're welcome <laughs> i don't know i don't think anyone was on here so